30. Oh, that means it's silver for sure. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it might be copper. That thing is definitely early colonial. It's awesome though. We're pulling bullets out of this thing left and right. What you got there, man? Good God, that's a nice ball. Three ring mini ball. It's a large. Well, maybe we can clean it off and um, kind of figure out what it is. Hey guys, doing a private permission with uh, brothers Doug and Daniel. And we're going to hunt here for just a little bit and then we're going to go back to our area where they're doing some uh, home construction and hit that again and we'll get back to you with some great finds. Stick around. Well, I'm down here in the woods on the side of the hill uh, on this property and um, I came down here just because there was so much trash in the front yard. And Doug, oyster shells everywhere. Doug's digging oyster shells, but he, he found some roundness in the hole, and we're trying to figure out what it is. It's nice and thick. It looks like an old old one cent. I hope it's a Virginia coin. I would be happy if it's a an old Britannia. Look at that. That is nice. Can we make it out at all? I never bring any water back here. Never fear. I didn't bring mine. Let's you can use some... that if you want to. I don't care. Let's put a little squirt on it. It's old. Maybe get some of the mud off it. I see green, so that's definitely copper. Oh, yeah. Oh, mosquito bite me. Hang on. We're next to the swamp back here. I got it. More mosquitoes. Well, we can't really make it out, can we? No, it's coming in. Maybe a little more squirt. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, there's something coming in. I'm getting down past the crud. He's been in the ground. Oh, there's a face. I got oh. a face going that way. See the face. All right, bust facing to the right. Look, well, the head's facing that way. Yeah. There's the face. Oh, that's good. Well, we know it's an old copper, right? It's yes. an old one cent. Okay, cool. Good find, man. And uh, we'll identify it later and uh, let everybody know what it is in a wrap-up. Congrats. Well, uh, Daniel here came out of the woods flying and said, I got something good. And I just looked down at it, and to me, it looks like a big old round silver. Let's see what you got, man. Pull it on out of there. Come up with solid 30 on the Equinox. A 30? Oh, that means it's silver for sure. Tell me it is. Yeah, oh, it is. Great. Yes. Hold on. I oh, my spray. goodness. I got some spray. Oh, oh, this is Spanish. You got a real. You got a real. That's a two. That is a sweet. Oh, my God. Look at that. I want to say that's a two real right there. You I'm, finally got one. And I came through here and I'm kicking myself because I missed it. I told you to come down to the ravine. I went that way. No, it's got a I, date on it. Oh, uh, silver real with the date of? 87. 17. I see a 7. 1787. 1787. All right. That is awesome. Congratulations on that beautiful Spanish, at least a two real. That is nice. Equinox rocks. <laughs> All right, guys, let's keep on going. Hey, so far, um, Doug here has found a largey, and he found a Spanish silver. Look at that. And I am hitting on nothing yet. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do some more hunting. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Well, after those two epic finds from Doug and Daniel, I'm finally on the board, and I got a nice flat button. This thing came up in the 40s on my uh, Garrett, uh, so I almost didn't dig it, but once I pulled some dirt out of the hole, it jumped up in the 60s, and I said, you know, that's got to be something. So, one flat button. All right, let's keep going. Well, <laughs> I'm down here on this bank. 
and not too far from where uh, Daniel here found that two real and I popped something out of the ground here after beating through some roots for about 10 minutes I see that it's round it looks thin I'm kind of scared to uh oh oh I see a design on it my last shovel just came out with it hit it with some water oh my goodness what could it be tell me it's something good oh it looks awesome look at that I think we're in some heavy competition here buddy what do we got here is that a hole oh, I gotta bring it over here and bring it up here and spray it it looks like it could be some silver no no brushing Uh oh, I see. Oh, I see words. Could I have me a silver here? Oh my goodness. <gasps> yep, yep. Look at that. Look at that. Right there. That is another silver. Look at that. Oh man. Oh, let's see if I can get a date on that. That's the same size as yours, too. I'll get my loop out. Alright. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's in good condition. I can't believe I just dug this. This is wicked. Okay, I'm looking here. Uh, you only look at it through the loop? Maybe it's on this side. Did I hit that? Oh, I might have tagged it with my shovel. Look at there. Looking for the date. Where's that date? There it is. 1793. 1793. Look at that. <laughs> Spray that off for me, man. It's not <laughs> a problem. <laughs> oh, goodness. I can't believe my luck. So that's two Spanish silvers and a large scent we found right on the side of this hill. Okay, well, if there's two Spanish silvers, there's possibly three. I'm going to keep on going and uh, see what else I can find. All right, here we go. Uh, me and Doug were hunting in this general vicinity where we've just found some other Spanish silvers. And he got an 82. And we got something nice here. And I want to see what it is. It looks round and it looks... Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> all right, he's going crazy. You'll have to forgive him. We, we are all in the Spanish silver club today. This is the third real, uh, two real that we found. We believe it's a two real. It's the size of one. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Here, let's juice her up. Yeah, I don't want to scratch it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. What's the date? 1810. 1810. I'll take it. Heck yeah. All right. Congratulations, my friend. You are now in the Spanish Real Club with me and Daniel. All right, guys. Same day, three of yep. them. Yep. Let's keep on going and see what else we can find. Hey Daniel, yeah. what did you just dig up, man? I'm not sure. It's got a nice design on the front of it with some gold gilt. It's a button. Oh, yeah, it is a button with a shank. Yep. Do a little bit of a wipe. See if you can get the face. It's up. got an eagle. What? There's an eagle on it, seen right just oh, like that. Oh my goodness. It's an eagle. Look at it's that. A cuff it's a beautiful cuff oh, button. I got a little bit of spray here. Um, I don't believe that's an eagle, is it? I'm not sure what that is. I just know it's a button, gold gilt with a nice pattern on it. It's going to take a little research. No, that is something, but it does not appear to be an eagle. But I'm not sure, but it's got some gold gilt in there. All right, that's cool find, man. Look. look at that. 
That's cool. All right, let's keep on going. We're finding good stuff here. Damn, look. All right, guys, we're out here. Uh, it's dark, and um, we've had a really good day. Three Spanish reals, copper, buttons, a couple buckles, and um, Daniel came along and plucked this one out of the ground. I'm not sure what it is. It kind of looks like it might be a suspender buckle, but that's a pretty neat relic. Check it out. Cool find, man. Saved that one. All right. All right, we'll keep on going for a few minutes, but we're about ready to call it a night. And we're rolling. All right, guys. Well, we're getting ready to head out and um, heading back to the truck. And Doug came up with this. What do you got there, man? It's a pocket watch. Oh, my goodness. Why don't you clean it up for us? Let's get some little JoJo on it. I think I see some writing on there. Look at that. That's silver. She's going to clean right on up, too. You Look think it's that. silver? Or oh, yeah. aluminum? No, that's a little silver, dude. Oh, my goodness. We silver are... stainless. That, that is stainless. pretty. Probably stainless. Look at that design. It could be stainless. It's hard to say what year that is. But look at the edge. Look at the edge. Look at the edge. Look at the edge. What edge? Turn it on. Alright. Okay. Alright. Flip it on over. Uh, I'm not even going to try to open it out here. No. Can you uh, spray it off in the front a little? Sweet. I swear that looks like silver to me. I don't care what anybody says. That looks like a silver pocket I think watch. It's stainless. But you think so? No. She's cleaning right on up though. Look at that. Stainless is uh, more chrome looking. That looks more like silver to me. Yeah, but that's been in the dirt for a hundred years. Yeah, it's been down there for a while. Look at she's cleaning right up. Really pretty. Yeah, she is. Check it out. All right. Oh, might be getting your cleanse. All right, guys. Can you make out anything on the back of that? I can't out here. I can't. That, does that look like Chinese letters going well, down it? some writing right there. Yep. Like, does that look like Chinese letters? That's pretty neat. Well, we'll let Doug figure out what it says, and uh, maybe I can put that in the wrap-up. All right, guys. Uh, we had a really great hunt today, and uh, Doug's going to go over some of the stuff he's got. Go ahead there, man. Some lead sinkers, a valve, a epic pocket watch. A cool pocket watch. One piece. Yeah, you got you got to find out a little bit more about that. Some clad change, clad a button. And a uh, Liberty, I think it's a uh, large scent. Large scent. We ain't got the date off of it though, right? Not yet. Okay. There's a little head that says Liberty. We'll get that date and we'll put that in there. Miscellaneous other objects. Video, yeah. Pieces of iron and stuff. Okay. And over here I got some junk iron, junk aluminum, uh, caps for, uh, you know, shotguns, spoon bowl, uh, got a flat button, got a dime. <laughs> Doug, Dana. I mean Daniel, excuse me. Dime detective. The dime detective. Uh, I think this is um, a buckle or a clip off of an old pair of suspenders. Right. I was told before by someone that this is a part of a Model T. The end of it's broke off. Right. Um, it's fishing weights. Um, that's some sort of horse tack. Um, I'm not certain on that. Uh, clad quarter, clad dime. Not sure what that is. Got some really nice buttons with design on this one. Seems to have a little bit of gold gilt. That one has some sort of writing or design. That one seems to be plain. And then two wheat pennies. Okay. And, of course, now the stars of the show, which you've seen earlier in the video, if you've watched it all without skipping through, is three Spanish reals. And uh, this was a really great hunt. We, this permission that uh, Doug got us really paid off. So... We'll start here. This is the eight, 18, uh, 1787 to Riel. And this one uh, belongs to Daniel. This one's mine, uh, 1793. And finally, Doug, he got an 1810. Let's flip them over. All right, that side looks really nice. It's pretty good. All right. So we'll do a little bit more research on these and find out where they came from. And I'll try to get that in the end of the video. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, Digologist Daniel and Doug saying see you next time.